the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. PB's asking her to look at what the concordance said. What it, where's my arrow? <laughs> there it is. All right. Let me ask you, did that pop up? Or do I need to come off and then? I don't know. It didn't come up. Found the uh, yeah. the concordance on it. <laughs> what verse was that? So I can go that straight was, to it. Uh, four. Oh, four, excuse me. I'm way down here. Uh, Genesis 4, what four, verse? Five. 5, okay. Continents right here. It's a H6440. Ooh, it got all kind of writings in there. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, it was saying his face fell. So I'm pretty sure, it may, in my mind, it would be a joy, you know, a pride. And, and, and an expectation that the I am that I am, the God, the most high God, is about to accept something from you that he, he, he asked. So you, you got to be excited bringing this and, 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 and expect, you know, a good report or, you know, a pat on the back, you know, well uh -huh. done. Um, yeah, he didn't get yeah. that, and so his countenance, his face, probably went from joy to anger. Yeah, because he, yeah, because because I guess the fact is that he, and I, and you all agree, uh, one of the things that some people like being a farmer is their ability to, you know, feed, you know, the people. Yeah, and that was his job, and he wanted to get. He wanted to give God his best of what he harvested. Uh, but the world, you know, don't forget the world, his power was just cultivating, right? He cultivated it. Yeah. The, the God brings the earth brought forth all that stuff. Same thing with the, if, um, with Abel. But the difference was one was a blood sacrifice mm -hmm. for the covering of sin. And I do want to point out that, see, Cain. Some people may say, "Hey, man, uh, Cain, Cain didn't have no uh, animals yeah, to did. give as an offering, <laughs> but he did, people. Because if you look at verse, uh, let's see here, the Abel first leans as an S, right? Yeah. Well, that that means see, you you only have one first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that means those were first." of the sets needed for father, yeah. mother, brother, and myself. He was the responsible for bringing these animals for the offering to God. He almost can say he was the first priest, if you think about it, because I don't know if they each had to do the, you know, the killing themselves or did... Well, uh, from from the teachings, you know, they had to lay their hands on that animal mm -hmm. when it was slain to transfer as a way of transferring their sins to that animal. Well, that, that was with the goat, right? That was the goat. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying the fact that it was a blood sacrifice, a lamb slain yeah. from the foundation of the world. This was kind of a foreshadow of what they were doing, right? And the point is that I don't know, what I'm trying to say is I don't know if they had, each individual had to go and do the you know, blood sacrifice, or did one of them do it for all of the the people? But they all were there, right, to to be part of the sacrifice. Uh, I assume that was happening. But with bottom line is, it Cain was it was the only one that could give that to everybody else because he was a ten, he was the keeper of the sheep, right? Yeah. That's that's fair to say, and obviously. Unless, unless, look, when you ask the question, why did Abel, why did Cain kill Abel? Hey, look, somebody could get deep, not, and I'm not saying that happened, but 
That's, oh, that was the blood sacrifice. <laughs> no, no. How about this? Here's, here's another one for you, right? Uh, you go get your own sheep. You go out there, go find your sheep. Uh -huh. I, I'm responsible for these sheep. You ain't, I ain't giving you one. But I, I'm pretty sure that didn't happen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, based on the fact is, that money was given his offering, you know, to God yeah. from the first thing in the sheep. I think this was all those were for. He probably, look, they got in a fight in the woods. You want to speculate, people. This is not, this is just, this is talking. Uh, I gave you, I gave you a, I gave you a sheep. <laughs> hey, look, come off this. You know, like I said, that gets room for it, right? Brother, I gave you, I gave you sheep. I gave you your sheep. What's wrong with you? I gave you. The, how did? Why did you bring that corn and grapes and and wheat and stuff up there when I told you I gave? I gave you a sheep. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I gave. I gave you. No, you didn't. Now why are you gonna say I didn't give it to you, brother? I know I gave it to you. I, I told you where. I, all of them in the same place. It ain't like you had to go go to the store. <laughs> there was no store. <laughs> you had to go to another town. There was no other town. <laughs> Wherever I was, that's where the sheep were. <laughs> so why didn't you take my sheep and put it up there? That's the only point I'm just on. I mean, something that, first of all, and the reason I was bringing this up is that people are killing the, this cultural war, people are killing brothers and sisters in this world today. Is it some people doing it because some of those people are pleasing God? They're on the right side of, of God's will? I don't know. But I know one thing, we're killing each other. Not all of us, but we're killing each other, right? And I'm saying that started way back in Genesis, is what I was trying to bring out there, right? So what happened? So he had a conversation. What, what what's going on here? God even asked the boy the question. He he didn't. He? Yeah. Read it read it for us on that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not even sharing it. Sorry, people. I'll sit there. We will keep. I'm coming. I'm coming up. Sorry. Being top for his brother. No, I'm gonna bring. I'll bring mine up. You, I'm not sharing yet. Here it is. You can read this one. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thou continence fallen? If thou doest well, mm -hmm. shall thou not? be accepted mm -hmm. and if thou doest not well mm -hmm. then lie at that door yeah and unto thee shall be his desire mm -hmm. thou shalt rule over him interesting on that question i was interested about the fact that sin what, what you know and unto thee shall be his desire sin right yeah but why is it that if sin is to, to be his desire and thou, but you shall rule over him? Because he's using the, he's giving the sin a pronoun. Mm -hmm. I always looked at one. That was kind of like, so you rule over him, but yet he unto thee shall be his desire. And thou shall rule over him. That, that, that's something that need to annotate a little bit longer in the future, but yeah. the point is that Lord said unto Cain, if you just do well, see, they ain't said great, brother. You remember, we talked yeah. about it a long time ago. If you do an evaluation, say you did well, you know that means you did average, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah you, 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 did, you did average, you did but, but you, you did the job. And that's all I ask. God is saying, if you do that, if you just do the job, I ain't say you went beyond and over and, you know, I ain't asked you to be great, be the best or anything else. I just said, just do your job. Yeah, you ain't got to like the job. You, do you ain't got to do job. Just do the job. Just do it. Just do it. And then you'll do well. And you'll be accepted. That's what he said. But the boy was angry, right? <laughs> and now, the, now the, go ahead, look at this, now eight. That's what we were, people were speculating on. <laughs> this is Cain talk with, with Abel. 
his brother. Now, now the question is that that's the piece, right? Okay, we had a conversation. We had a conversation. What's up? That, but that's, that's that's something there, you know. <laughs> yeah. Man, I know it. <laughs> what 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 could a conversation have been for him to slay his brother? To lay into that point, they yeah. were in the field. Mm -hmm. So, so Abel was in Cain's stomping ground. Yes, he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cain rose up against Abel, his brother. So, so maybe he, we don't know if 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 Abel went to go get some some of the harps. I wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't surprise if they didn't share labor, right? If yeah. you work on a farm. Everybody probably had to do. I mean, he may have sent them to go get some. Who knows, right? Hey, I, I came to get some of this corn over here, man. They, they, dad and the mom wants to, the, you know, go cook some good food tonight. And the boy's like, wait a minute. Hey, look, here's funny, y'all. I ain't go to your sheep, did I? <laughs> I ain't go to where, I ain't go to your place, did I? Did you see me over there hanging with your sheep? <laughs> It could be okay, you know, it could be. But the bottom line, he was definitely in the field. Now, that don't mean he was in the gardens, though. Yeah, it doesn't mean he was in the garden. He could have been in the fields where his his uh, his his flock were. Exactly. But his the, flock to eat the field. Is, it says, and Cain talked with Abel. Mm -hmm. And then it says, and it came to pass when they were in the field. Yeah. So this is is, is it's implied there was two different different events. There was a conversation. Not necessarily because it's 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 like it's explaining when the, this conversation. Yeah. Even more detail about this conversation conversation. Mm -hmm. Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it says it came to pass when they were in the field. That Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Yeah. So. And, and, and I meant, I didn't mean to put nine in there because it could be on a slide. But who did, if we think about it, right? Only person that Cain had an issue with was God. Yeah. It shows no, at least in the scriptures, nothing that indicated there was an issue between Cain and Abel. Well, there was an issue after that conversation, I can tell you that. After they talked, right. The point with it, we do know that there was a, a an acceptance or respect that God had toward Abel. There's a Mark bringing up to, to this world's time, at least with dealing with Jews, Israelites, other people have wanted to kill them. And some of them sit there and say, because, I mean, even today you got the, the supremacists and they got an issue with the Jews, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and yet, somehow, one party even... I don't know. That's another story. But <laughs> the point is that some of them mad because they're God chosen people. And if you go by the Black Hebrews, because of the curse, it seems like everybody has been trying to kill them, abuse them, take their identity from them, you know, uh, discriminate against them, still have their children painting black face and then doing different things to the person once they painted the, you know, the color of the skin of the person. So it's, it seems as if Abel pleased God or had some type of favor or respect, yeah, respect. from God. Yeah. And then the person who did not get respect had problems with not only Abel, obviously after the conversation but he definitely had anger against god and man is made in the image, image of god 
is it possible that the people in this culture war is a war of people who have issues with God? Something is going on. Well, you know, in one way, it's it's obvious that mm -hmm. that's the case because if you are not a child of God, mm -hmm. then there's only one child you can be. There's only a one other father that can be your father, which and is the devil. Faith. Yeah. And so, <laughs> obviously, then yes, if you are not a child of God and you're mm -hmm. a father, then you are a child of, of the devil. Yeah, yeah. And, and so you hate, you and now you hate. Yeah, against God. Uh huh. So, and 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 that's that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. In other words, you really trying to kill God. Because he said, "Thou shalt not murder." Yeah, you know. So, and, and 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 also, you know, it, if 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 you're not doing well, mm -hmm. which is your you're job, not being accepted of God, then the alternative to that is sin life at the door. So it's yeah, that is you know? is. He's there anyway. Yeah, yeah. But now you're at the door. <laughs> hmm. And the way to sin is death. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, another scripture I wanted to throw in that you came to mind was, "Do well is your." That scripture says your reasonable service. Yeah. You remember that? That. This is your reasonable. This is your reasonable service. Yeah. Which, which <laughs> people think that it's. It's that that is the above, <laughs> you know, the above and beyond. Yeah, that is just that is just your existence should be that. That's it. <laughs> your your you basic is yeah in that position, and and then <laughs> you know uh, that that should be your starting point. <laughs> That's your starting point, brother. That is your starting point. You know, and, and, and I think to me, it's like there's a scripture. Remember that one scripture, and I ain't going to look it up, where it was saying is that uh, think it not strange that uh, you you will have uh, pers pers persecution, persecution, right? Mm -hmm. You know, that one where it says that you, these things come. Oh, if you're happen. following Christ, then don't 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 expect anything but this this you, this shall follow you you shall be persecuted if they persecuted me oh he said it he said it didn't he he did it right and and so here we see the same factors to, 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 am i wrong yeah it of cain and abel we had one doing his reasonable service mm -hmm. and then we have one who said he wanted to do it his way and had issues with God. So therefore, what did he do? He attacked the person that had, who was doing his readable yeah. service. Yeah. Think about it. And I'm trying to say people, that maybe that's the key. And maybe that's the issue. That because you don't know God, because you don't accept the him, you don't accept all of us made in the image of God. Remember, that's how people, how demon, that's how they demonize people, right? They yeah. demonize you. They, they, they. It's, Go ahead. It's what I said uh, last time we talked about this, you have those who do the will of God, mm. the way God has requested. Mm -hmm. And then you have those who do the will of God the way they want to do it. Yeah. You know, so you have the Cain and the Abel. You have Abel who do does who did the will of God the way God willed it to be. Yes, yeah, sir. And then you had Abel who did the will of God the way that Abel wanted it. One was respected, one wasn't. One, the, the one that wasn't respected, who didn't do the will of God, who didn't follow God in the way that he had desired it, 
he attacked and killed the one who did. So yeah. we have yeah. the same thing in the church. So you have those who live according to the will of God who call themselves Christians, but they only do those things that they want to do the way they want to do it. Mm. So then they seems like they would have alt against those <laughs> who are following the will of God the way God would want to do it. Exactly. So That's if, the whole point. If, right. If, if you're being Wow. If, if, it's... if, if you're committing yourself to God Yes, sir. Man, then obviously when you know when, when, when you you come to that crossroad, there's gonna yeah. be some problems. Exactly. The one who is following the will of God is not gonna be the one with the problem. Wow. Interesting. To where he's going to, you know, uh, physically attack or abuse or or you know the the other. Yes, so, sir. Um. Ooh. It, it's it's uh. It, 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 you know, because it's, it's, it's a pattern. Matter of fact, here's the uh, here's one script that goes with it, just for people to see. This I think that's what I was trying to bring out. There's a pattern. There's a cultural war that started all the way from the beginning, and now do not think it's strange, unusual that you still have this war. Is those people are in some type of favor with God? It's what I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then right here, we look at this second one. Here's 2 Timothy 3, 12. What does that say? It says, yeah. <laughs> all that, <laughs> that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. It, it didn't say possible, right? It, it, it says shall. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Those who live godly. Pastor Dollar had a good one at one time. I know I, I can't use his name because so many people I think don't like him but the, the point where he said is brother Addison he was saying is uh, uh, he read that scripture right yay and all that live godly in Christ Jesus and suffer persecution pastor I haven't received any persecution I've been doing I've been, everything been doing great and stuff he said he said those who shall live godly but you know I, I don't have no issue with nobody I've got everything squared away and all that stuff and he, he would point out and say well maybe you're not living godly mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Woo, yeah, man. Uh, it, 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 it really <laughs> makes you examine yourself. Wow. Ooh. You know, if, if, if I'm living this peaceful life, <laughs> something's wrong. <laughs> you, seriously. Yeah. If, if everything is peachy keen, then something's wrong. If the enemy is not attacking me, then something's wrong. Exactly. <laughs> if, if I find favor with everyone, come on, brother, come on, come on. Can't, you don't offend nobody. <laughs> <laughs> and people, we're not, we're not trying to be rude about it. We're not. Then how, how could you fall up under, you know, this these scriptures if if they persecute me? They could persecute you. <laughs> You know, if, 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 if you don't love your neighbor as yourself. Come on, brother. Ooh. Then, you know, Ooh. You, you should be Ooh. somebody because you know how folks are. Ooh. Well, I don't like this neighbor. You can't like this neighbor. Yeah. So yeah. if you like this neighbor, I'm not gonna like you. So there uh -huh. goes your persecution. Cause you there can't, you go. Can't, you can't please everybody. But wow. You everybody. Mm, mm, mm. And, and look, here's the other scripture I put in there. I saw this one. It was, it, and then we're gonna we'll close with with that last part of uh, the killing. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.